The X618 supports automatic switchover between the main amplifier and the backup amplifier. This function ensures the system can still work properly and the broadcast will not be affected even if some important areas of the main amplifier fails, which makes it a reliable system overall. The Digital Integrated System Manager, the XDCS3000, can be connected with three types of high efficiency power amplifiers, and they are single channel amplifier XDA1500EN, the dual channel amplifier XDA2250EN, and the four channel amplifier XDA4125EN. For single channel mode, please connect it with all eight audio output ports, the PA12, PA2, PA34, PA4, PA56, PA6, PA78, and PA8 as shown. For multi-channel mode, it can be connected with the lower four audio output ports, the PA12, PA34, PA56, and PA78 as indicated. Therefore, the X618 power amplifier backup solution can be achieved by eight main channels, with one spare channel of amplification, or two sets of four primary channels, with one spare channel of the amplification setting. To get started, use a CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS 3000's Control Interface Audio Output Port PA12 to the XDA4125EN Control Interface Audio Input Port Channel 12. Then use another CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS 3000 Control Interface Audio Output Port PA34 to the XDA4125EN Control Interface Audio Input Port Channel 34. Use a CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS3000 Control Interface Audio Output Port PA56 to the second XDA4125EN Control Interface Audio Input Port Channel 12. Then use another CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS3000 Control Interface Audio Output Port PA78 to the second XDA4125EN Control Interface Audio Input Port Channel 34. Insert the installed 7P green terminal into the XDA4125EN Audio Output Interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to ports Channel 1 and Channel 2 as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 1 and channel 2 respectively. Insert the installed 7P green terminal into the XDA4125EN audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 3 and channel 4 as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 3 and channel 4 respectively. Insert the installed 7P green terminal into the second XDA4125EN's audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 1 and channel 2 as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 5 and channel 6, respectively. Insert the installed 7P green terminal into the second XDA4125EN audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 3 and channel 4, as shown. Insert the installed 16P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to ports channel 7 and channel 8 respectively.
use a CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS3000 control interface audio output port spare 1-2 to the XDA1500EN control interface audio input port channel 1. Insert the installed 5P green terminal into the XDA1500EN audio output interface. The red speaker line should be connected to a 70 volt output port channel 1 as shown. Insert the installed 4P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the red speaker line should be connected to a spare input port 1. Connecting two XDA4125EN as main amplifiers and one XDA 1500EN as a backup amplifier to the XDCS3000 to achieve eight primary channels with one spare channel of amplification backup solution. Use a CAT5 cable line to connect the XDCS3000 control interface audio output port spare 1-2 to the XDA2250EN control interface audio input port channel 1-2. Insert the installed 7P green terminal into the XDA2500EN audio output interface. The two red speaker lines should be connected to a 70 volt output port channel 1 and channel 2 as shown. Insert the installed 4P green terminal into the XDCS3000 amplifier input interface. The other end of the previous two red speaker lines should be connected to spare input ports 1 and 2 respectively. Connecting two XDA4125EN as main amplifiers and one XDA2250EN as a backup amplifier to the XDCS3000 to achieve two sets of four primary channels with one spare channel of amplification backup solution. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, please refer to the user manual.